do such an exciting video and this is my New York City fashion haul or clothing haul. I went shopping in Soho while in New York and I had a ton of fun. I actually vlogged it if you want to check it out. It's over on my vlog channel. I'll have it linked somewhere on the screen but I had so much fun and I found so many good finds and so I'm really excited to show them to you guys. It's also a try on haul because I basically only do try on hauls because you can't see what a piece looks like unless it's on. If you're new to my channel, you should definitely subscribe. I upload on Sundays or Thursdays and I love doing hauls. I feel like hauls are one of my better videos on my channels. A lot of you guys seem to like these. I think they're fun. You get really, really good fashion advice from it. So yeah, really excited to hop on into this video. So let's just go ahead and get started. So first we're gonna start off with Toby.com, which is a really awesome online company. I'll have it linked down below. Also, if you're a first time user or customer, you get a 50% off code, which I'll also have linked down below that you should definitely check out. But I got three things here. The first thing is this shirt that is kind of like a cropped tee and it has the lace up detailing and it has bell sleeves. I really love this. I love the color. I love the lace up detail. I had yet to pick up something with this trend on it. So I think it goes great with like black high waisted jeans. It's a little more cropped than I usually go, but I think for spring, this will be really, really nice to wear. I then got this shirt, which is definitely more of a simple shirt, but it's just kind of this maroony purple color and it drapes down and it kind of goes longer on the side. So I think this is like a shark bite top. I really, really like the color of this. I didn't have anything that's this purpley kind of maroon color. So love this. It's great for just a day whenever you're not feeling like styling a whole outfit and you just want something more simple. This last thing, unfortunately, was too big, but I still really like the piece. It's just this army green jacket. It's so hard to show on camera. This would be impossible, but basically it just drapes in the front and then it goes down and then in the back it cinches. But I ordered this in a small. For some reason, this is really, really big. So if you are gonna purchase this piece, I would recommend sizing down like two sizes because this is a small and it just really like consumes my body. It's not even like to the point where it's just that kind of grunge oversized. It's like oversized. So you're gonna get this, just would recommend sizing down a little bit. Before I went to New York, I bought a couple pieces for my presentation for the scholarship competition. I was in, I needed a business casual dress. So I just got this one that has horizontal stripes and then in the bottom it has vertical stripes which is super flattering it cinches in on the way short sleeve just very very simple this is from the loft it was really really expensive i'm not gonna lie but i just think something like this is a staple and i know whenever i need to wear something that's a little more conservative this is gonna be good to have this next piece i'm so excited about i got this from j crew but it's this dark denim jacket it just buttons down the front it has pockets it goes down and i Love this. I feel like all denim jackets are a light wash, and so it's nice to have this true denim. The deal on this, guys, this was a $90 jacket on clearance for $40, and then I checked out, it was 20 bucks. This J. Crew jacket, they had one left, it was $20. So this was such a steal, and it's perfect for spring whenever it's one of those chillier spring days, and you just need to throw on a denim jacket. So in New York, I stopped by a store called Uniqlo or Uniqlo. Really, really cool store. They have very simple pieces. I got this kind of, not necessarily olive green, but just kind of a sage green color um, top. It's just really flowy and plain. It's a really cool material. I've never owned something this material, but this is such a staple under like a black leather jacket and black jeans and black booties. I think this would just create a really, really nice outfit. Again, for one of those days where you don't feel like styling something. I then got this very, very simple, what is this? Like a mock turtleneck top and it's long sleeves and it kind of flows outwards. I like this because I feel like a lot of women's tops cinch in at the waist. Like they assume everyone has this really small waist, but this is just a very straight, structured, simple top, which I think looks good on all body types. So I really like this. The color is something I don't have. Very, again, easy to style. At Brady Bevel, I first placed an order and I got a few things. I got this plain, just olive green, simple top, which is great for throwing a scarf over, I think, but it's just tight fitted, very flattering. I then got this gray ribbed shirt, which is long sleeves. I really like this shade of gray. It's not light, but it's not dark. It's just like a good in between. I've worn this so many times. It's so comfortable and it's just, it's the perfect length. It's not cropped, but it's not long. Just a good like standard shirt. I then got this top, which is again, like an olive green color and it's just more flowy and plain. Again, one of those shirts that you can just throw on on a day you're not feeling, maybe like a statement necklace and some skinny jeans and you just look very put together. And then this shirt, I absolutely love. This is probably my favorite shirt I got from Brainy Melville, but 
It's just a kind of pinstripe shirt that buttons down and I thought it was black, it's actually navy blue. But this is so cute with high-waisted jeans because it is a bit cropped with like some heeled booties. You just look like you have your life together. It's like one of those shirts that you're like, yeah, she like knows what she's doing, you know? And then at the actual Brandy Melville store, which I wanna say, if you guys have ever been to a Brandy Melville store, do you ever feel like you kind of get like a pretentious vibes when you go in. I feel like the people there just act like they're doing you a favor by running the store. I don't know, I just get really weird vibes. And then whenever I was checking out, they asked if they could take a picture of my outfit for like a customer page, which was kind of weird. I didn't really know what was going on, but took it as a compliment, I don't know. I got this top, which is just a really plain white shirt and it has holes at the bottom and when this was hanging up they actually had it tied here on the bottom which i totally imagine this with like a black leather jacket black skinny jeans and some heel booties and maybe like a chunky necklace or something i don't know i just thought very cool like rockerish vibes but and then i got one of these tops which basically looks like a dress it's short sleeves and then it goes down pretty far but it has slits in the side so you can't actually wear this as a dress because it slits right here. So I'd probably wear this with, again, black jeans. I feel like all these outfits are like black jeans, but this I just think is a really cool piece and it's gonna be really fun to style and it's a little out there for me, but at the same time, relaxed at the same time. And then I saw these pants hanging up and I told myself, Michelle, you do not need another pair of sweatpants, but what do you know? I bought another pair of sweatpants. These are just super comfy gray, like big sweats with cinches on the ankles, the softest sweats I've ever felt. If I could live in a pair of pants, it would be these pants. And then I went to Topshop, which again, they don't have here in Texas, but was kind of disappointed. Topshop is really expensive and I feel like the clothes just don't measure up to their prices. But I had to get a pair of Jamie jeans because so many people talk about these and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna splurge and buy these. They're just black jeans, they're skinny and then they have the rips and the knees and then they go down. These are really, really cute and I feel like just a staple piece. I know everyone has these right now, but they're nice. These jeans are just really, really good quality and they're really the only thing at Topshop that I could justify spending, you know, like $70 on. Then I went to Zara, which is one of my favorite stores now. I love Zara. I got the shirt that I'm wearing right now. It's just this floral cropped shirt with kind of puffier sleeves. So pretty for spring. And then in the back, it has a really pretty button dealing. So cute, so freeing and just nice to wear. And then I got this piece, which is probably my favorite thing in the haul. It's a mustard yellow kind of faux leather skirt goes down, super simple, has a zipper in the back. I love this, guys. It's the perfect length, it has pockets. It's gonna be so cute to style in the spring. Like, this just screams spring to me, I don't know about you guys. And then I got this shirt, which I think is so, so pretty. It's just a button-down top that short sleeves, it has pleats, and it kind of flows out. I'll insert a picture of me wearing this. I posted it on my Instagram. You guys should definitely follow me, at Michelle Reed. Love this, so cute with high-waisted black jeans. It's just very feminine and girly, but it's gonna be so much fun to mix with more like masculine pieces. I love doing that. And then I also got this hat, which is actually for my sister Jamie, but I wanted to show it in this video because I think it's super cute. It's just a black hat with these little silver medallions and like a tribal piece. I wore this back on the plane because I didn't want it to get crushed in my luggage, but I just love it. I was watching Carly Christman's video and she was like, if you see someone wearing a hat, you just feel like they have their life together. They could totally just be having a bad hair day. They put on a hat and you're like, wow, like they got everything together. And then I got a pair of booties because I wanted these to wear with the dress and I just wanted a black pair of booties. So I got these black ones from Ralph Lauren. They just zip, they have a buckle. These are at Marshalls for I think $50, which I thought it was a good price for a staple pair of black booties. And these look like they would really hurt to break in. Not at all. Like, so comfortable. I walked around New York for two days in these. Didn't give me one blister. So, go Ralph Lauren. Love these boots. So cute. So, those are all the pieces that I have to show you guys. Let me know if you've gotten any good deals, what your favorite stores are to shop at. I'm a shopaholic. I'd love to know. If you want to go watch my last video, it was all about body confidence and loving your body, which I think is so important. So, you should definitely check that out. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, friends.